Dar Sarar is an incredible uh, human rights defender and lawyer who has been able to investigate, expose and challenge uh, a vast network of clandestine prisons in, in Yemen. Run by the United Arab Emirates, uh, one of Washington's allies in that regional conflict. And she exposed that these things existed. She exposed that they were uh, torture centres. She confronts in her work uh, patriarchy, she confronts power, she confronts privilege. And it's a travesty and a tragedy uh, that the international community allows countries like the United Arab Emirates to label people like her with terrorist or similar slogans. Huda has chosen not to leave Yemen, um, which is an incredibly brave decision which she has made. Um, the context is incredibly dangerous for her. There are uh, so many different actors uh, at play and so many different directions in which threats can come from. There are very few voices at the moment in the country that dare to speak up because it is so, so dangerous. And so the fight of Hoda, I think it's uh, very laudable because it's, uh, it's done in the middle of terrible suffering and that you still find it in you to, to fight for the rights of families to know what happened. If you think about the, the vested and cruel interests that are behind those crimes, you can just have an idea of the obstacles she faces and the risks she takes. She suffered reprisals as a direct consequence of her engagement with the international human rights mechanisms. She now wears the veil when she never used to have to do this. She's now very careful about her movements around, around the, the place where she lives. It's very difficult to work in that sort of environment and still more difficult to see any glimmer of success and she's managed to achieve that.